Hey guys, it's Bryony. So today we are doing a bit of a, I don't even know what to call it, a test, I guess you could say. Um, because I've been having some itching now, uh, kind of around like my vulva area, it was a little bit swollen. Um, and I've been having this on and off for, I don't really know, like it, the problem is I forget. So it could have been a few weeks, could have been a few months. Um, yeah, but anyway, it, I get it for like a day or two, and then it will go. So every time I get it, I think, oh, I must go to make an appointment with the doctor to go and get it checked out, which is what you should always do if you have um, an infection or anything. Let me just angle this camera down a bit. Um, but every time I think about it, the next day it's gone. So I think, oh, well, whatever. Um, but basically, it's just been very itchy. And I went into Boots today while I was in town, and I picked up the canis test. Um, self test for vaginal infection, vaginal infections, and also some vaginal fast relief from intimate burning um, and irritations, just some cream. And I figured, well, why not just do a video testing out this thing and whether it works? I strongly suspect it's going to come back just saying that it's nothing and it's just that she's itching, but it, it has a little like swab. I don't know if I can get this thing to focus. So you can see on the back, you get this like it indicator and the blue I think is bacterial and the yellow is not let me see that is pro oh, okay yellow is probable thrush and this is probable um a bacteria or trichoma so it's something complicated but anyway I'm gonna test this out and I really need to pee I don't think it needs you to pee on the sink but I thought just in case I would do it right now before I went to the bathroom and check. I've never ever used this before and it says easy to use so we're going to test that out. Um, one thing I will say was that this cost a freaking fortune. Um, it was £10 and you only get one test in this box but I figured for the sake of my itching vagina I would take pity on it. So what do we get? Oh okay so inside the box some instructions, always a massive pack of instructions. And I guess that's it. That's that's ten pounds. That's what you're paying for. Hence the reason I'd recommend you go to your doctor <laughs> rather than do this. Okay, so let me have a quick read through. Okay, so I've had a quick blitz through the instructions, and it says you can't use it if it's less than one day before or day after your period. Um, there are signs of menstruation or any vaginal bleeding. It is less than twelve twelve hours after sexual intercourse or vaginal douching, don't vaginal juice, it's just not good for you in general, don't do it. Um, do not insert the swab deeper than the handling point, I haven't opened it yet. Uh, if you're pregnant, positive to blah blah blah. Okay, so we need to unwrap it, make sure the swab tip does not come into contact with anything before inserting it to the vagina or the test. So, let's do this. I'm going to do it on camera because why not? I've already put a menstrual cup in on camera, okay, so... I have washed my hands by the way as well, just as just henna. Um, let's take it out. So this is a swab. What I want to see is if this stays yellow or changes from yellow to blue slash green. I have a high suspicion it's not going to because I don't have an unpleasant odour and there's no change in my vaginal discharge so I think I'm just itchy. Might as well. Okay, so you have to separate the outer skin layer so the vagina is exposed. That's called your labia, not outer skin. <sighs> People not using the correct terminology. Okay, carefully insert the yellow to the canvas test. Until the handle reaches here, the outside of the vagina, and then rotate the swab. Do not touch the vaginal entrance. Withdraw it and try not to touch the outside. This could be difficult. Excuse me a moment. Oh, wait, I think I need a mirror. Darn it. Hang on a second. This is actually really difficult. I could get this in, but it's getting it in without it touching anything else. And also, I just... Um, had to wipe some discharge off, which looks completely normal, so this is what's throwing me off. Okay, I don't know if the mirror is even going to help at all, but we will see. Hopefully you can't see anything. Right, um... Oh, so difficult! Right, then we'll go back to, back to the Versta idea. Okay, we're going to just try it how it started out. I think this is the only option. Okay, it's in, one, two, three, four, five, that probably is enough, figure it out, right, if this doesn't change colour in ten seconds it's supposed to have secretion on it, which it does, 
I should have mentioned before this video, if you're put off by this sort of thing, don't watch, but I guess most of you have a brain to work that out. <sighs> I should be counting really, shouldn't I? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It doesn't smell weird and there's no sign of any change at all. So basically, it stayed yellow. And I have thin clear white discharge, no odour. I do have itching and burning and it, that doesn't give me an option. That, According to this it's normal, it's not vaginal thrush, so I reckon I've just reacted to maybe some um, washing up detergent or I was on holiday recently, excuse me, I was on holiday recently and maybe the chlorine, I haven't been swimming for a long time, maybe the chlorine caused me to get some itching there or I scratched myself and it got itchy, I don't know, multiple reasons why it can happen but obviously this thing says I haven't got an infection of any kind and I didn't really think I had either because like I said there's no... No weird smell, no weird discharge, just literally itching and swollen on one side. So I think I probably just scratched myself. But anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video, even if it is a bit um, on the weird side. But we like to do weird things on this channel and I like to normalise things that can happen. And getting itching and yeast infections and UTIs and that kind of stuff, sadly, is kind of normal for us um, women out there. But I hope you found it um, entertaining and I will see you next week. Bye bye. Costume change. I'm in my pajamas now, but I forgot. I also should mention something else you should do if you have itching or anything like that is put on cotton underwear. I always wear cotton underwear anyway, but polyester and synthetic fabrics they can kind of keep the heat in and make you sweat more, and that might be more prone to itching. So definitely wear breathable cotton um, and try and wash it without fabric softener. You might be surprised that might be something that's giving you a bit of um, pain and discomfort. Uh, so just try that. But I wanted to slip that in here before I put this up.